so the welcome back for the ddc world lab program the last class we learned the working procedure of program 2 four bit full adder so now we have to design for the same thing uh, with this program with a, a software part with the very lag uh, that you need to go for the xilinx and that xilinx you need to open that uh, uh, is xilinx click on that and uh, close the previous project go to file create new give any name of the program as the name of the project click on next and click next button and finish so now we have to go to the project is the name right click new source see we need to write a very lag you should be choose the very lag module or write it say a program name so whatever you want binary adder subtractor is the file name and click on next and no need to choose any input output finish so we got this i don't want to get this template just delete it so what are the program we written just copy the program you just type it say instead of time consumption just i am doing type uh, copy and paste so you have to type the program after typing the program you need to do for the same So if you're saving, if you have any error, it will list out the error. For my program, there is no error. So after that, if you click on here, binary full adder plus, you'll get a four full adder block will be created. That means I am calling these four full adder, calling the function, but I need to add a function for this. So how to add a function for this? So you have to right click on the program, then you need to add for this. You tap next, add a new source. go to that very log model you write a program with the same name full adder the full adder i am taking next next finish see now i got this block you just delete it see now i have to take for the program you need to copy this program the full adder program this is the called program you just type the program you have to type save after save there is no error then i need to compile let me check now this full adder is added if you click on that whatever i am writing the code it will be displayed here for all four the same code has need to be copied then what is the meaning i have to instead of writing four times one time writing four times i am calling see so once you done go back to your program and the implementation part right click rerun all it will start running all the program code if there is no error so meanwhile i need to give the test benches also or uh, to run the program i can give manually for the input or through the test benches so now it is done the next if go for the simulation part click on that in the a uh, simulation part you have to choose isc simulator if you double click you will get this form so this is the manual generation the initially i am not given any value it will get all or this this restart you will restart it will everything is done if you want to provide manually click on right click for that a not value if you provide right click force the constant whichever you want value 0 0 apply okay and you can pass the b value force constant 0 0 0 1 apply okay and initially the c in has to be 0 if you take 0 it acts a adder okay after that you need to run the program if you run you will get the answer about the c in value or whatever the value i am getting the 0 0 i am providing for that so you will get the answer so this is how to run the program without test benches you need to run by using uh, with test benches you close it and close it for this you go back to your program uh, take your right click new source i need to choose very lag text fixture i need to write a very lag text fixture for the full ladder you can type anything for identification t is given t for the test uh, uh, program i am writing next so we will get a two program 
while adding either full order or binary order but carefully you have to choose binary order only like a full order is the called this is the main program choose binary order next finish so you will get one template for this is the template is created for the test benches you know what is the test benches name of the program with all the inputs are registered and wire outputs are this and uh, unit under test is created initially a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 c is equal to 0 the 0 for the addition then you can pass a value here so if you want to pass a value see this is my test benches are there the same thing the test benches if you want to pass a and b and this so that is for begin and end so the program you can pass a is equal to 0 now i have passing after 10 second a is equal to 4 dash of b 0 0 0 1 okay then b is equal to 4 dash 4 is the number of value i am passing 0 0 1 0 okay this a is this b is 0 and c in is what 0 what is the scene the scene is acting as a adder for this is for i am doing for the input uh, a value 0 0 1 b value 0 0 1 i am trying to do for the adding because of c in is equal to 0 after 10 second or 10 millisecond you have to do this one you can give any value for 10 or 100 you save the program and you have ash with semicolon is not required and so now a value is given b value is given i am ending my program save the program is done again go back to your program you start run the program so go to implementation the main program just right click rerun with main program with sub program with the test benches you're trying to take all the three cases rebuild our program to automatically generate the four bit addition if you want to do subtractor carefully you have to change in the program that value go to simulation click on this isc simulator double click on this so you will get automatic waveform so the waveform will be created whatever value for a is equal to 0 0 1 b is equal to 0 0 1 so this output will be getting so 0 uh, they have to get 0 0 1 1 because of some system problem you are not getting if you run properly for that we are definitely getting 0 0 1 1 because adding for this 0 0 1 so i am getting properly here the c out is 0 and value input a and b is also showing and there is a problem facing in the system because of the this values is not getting if you run for the same way you will get the output in 0 0 1 the same program if you want to act as a subtractor go to here change this as a 1 and that will be act as a subtractor so that will be act as a subtractor save it and you have to close that one and rerun the program and it will act as a subtractor so then student you need to take both the screenshot about one for the adder one for the subtractor see now the subtractor get zero and zero one is not possible you have to do for that one's complement of that minus one see according to that we will get one one zero one has to be printed see now the output will be generated this is for the program uh, so now I am getting red line but uh, because there is uh, some issues we will be facing in this system right now uh, you will get it definitely with the proper answer with the subtraction of 001 with 0010 so that answer will be displayed in the sum okay the carefully you have to do for a both sum and difference thank you